In the meantime, we've got Illinois, Massachusetts, New York, Connecticut so far. They're the only ones, but more could be coming. Launching probes into Uber to cybersecurity expert attorney Lisa Garber. Lisa, it's all over what the company knew and when it knew it, who inspired it, tried to cover it up. Uh, better than $100,000 worth of payments to, to make it go away. That makes it a little bit different than some of these other uh, hack attacks that become well known. How big a deal is this going to be? Hi, Neil. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. And this is a really big deal on the consumer privacy front. For any kind of company, this type of cover-up for over a year would be unacceptable. But for Uber, who's been under investigation for a data breach in 2014 from September 2014, they've had FTC investigations against them, Department of Justice. This is completely unacceptable and unforgivable. Even though the amount of data, if you look at it on a scale, you look at the Yahoo breach, which was 3 billion accounts, this is 57 million people. We're talking about people that use Uber as customers and as drivers. It's email addresses, it's names, and for some people it's driver license numbers. But the problem here and why this is going to stick around is the CEO, the ex-CEO, Travis Kopernik, was involved. And then also the ex-chief security officer helped in this cover-up. It's completely unacceptable. Could I ask a dumb question about what's illegal? I'm told, and I get different reads on this, that if you... Someone is a hacker is trying to shut you down or has shut you down to pay them off to unhack you. Is that illegal? Because I know companies do that. Is that illegal? Well, usually where this scenario takes place is called a type of malware called ransomware. And what happens is the hacker will get right. into your system. Usually it's through a phishing email attack. And they'll say, pay us $100 in Bitcoin, $5,000 right, right, right. Bitcoin, right? And they'll encrypt your system until you pay up. Usually what cybersecurity experts will tell you to do is... Don't pay them because then you're on a list as a paying victim, which is never good. And you don't have a guarantee that they're actually going to give you the key back to your data. Go to a backup, shut down the system. That's the only way to get back online. Here for Uber, we're not certain that this was ransomware. It's not illegal to pay. Not illegal to pay. Is it a good idea to pay? Depends what kind of situation you're in and how quickly you can get back up and running, how your business can get back for continuity purposes. Here, the problem is that they covered it up. They said that this $100,000 payment last year was to pay off a bug bounty. They're saying they had someone come in to look up kinks in their system, and they found one, they gave them money. Companies do this all the time in the tech industry to try to stay ahead of where cyber attacks are going. Here, the cover-up just keeps getting worse and worse, and we're talking about issues that could be on a state and federal level, never mind the international effects as well. But to your point, the big deal could be not the crime, but covering up the crime, right? Exactly. This is All something right. that's unacceptable for a company like Uber that has been in this security sphere. Consumers like me are entrusting their data to companies like this. You know, we never learned even from Watergate, right? I mean, no. you think since then, because it happens enough. All right. Thank you very, very much, Lisa Garber.